Hey everyone, my name is Naveed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your text editor. So at this point, we've created our first Rails application here on the desktop. Now what I want to do is jump over to Safari and open up a new window. Now once you're at the web browser, you can type in code.visualstudio.com and then download VS Code for Mac. Once the download is complete, you can double click the application icon there and that will open up VS Code. Once VS Code is open, we can go ahead and close out of Safari. Now let's drag and drop our Rails application into the text editor. Great. Now once here, we want to just set up a few extensions for VS Code. Let's go to the bottom left and then let's type in Atom one dark and that's going to just update our theme. Another extension we can set up is the material icons theme. And what that will do is just give us these cool icons on all of our files and directories, just like you see right here. And if you scroll down, you can look at some of the documentation and see all of the icons that are provided with the material icon theme. Now we have a slight problem. If we open up our app directory and we go to views and let's just open up an HTML file. One of the first things I noticed is that I don't really like this markup or this syntax highlighting. So I'll go over to extensions and then I'm going to type in Ruby. And if I install the Ruby extension and go back to that application.html.erb file, it sort of just fixes this syntax highlighting. It does a few other things, but that's just the main thing you're going to notice right away. All right. Now the, the primary issue that I find when I'm trying to use VS code with rails is that the formatter is not set up. So if you want to format this document, let's select the gearbox and then we can look at our keyboard shortcuts. If I type in format document, you'll notice that there's a key binding here to format, um, any file that we're in. So very quickly, <clears throat> I want to update this key binding to be something that's easier to work with. So I like command shift I. So I'll double click and then type command shift I, and that will just update my key bindings. And so if I close out of here and I go back to this file and I type command shift I, well, it's not going to work because the text editor doesn't recognize what an ERB file even is. So we need to install a special formatter for our ERB files. Now ERB stands for embedded Ruby and these HTML files, the way they work is that we have this syntax here and that's really our ERB markup that you'll see. So if, if you ever see any code like this, well, that lets you know that, Hey, you know, this is a ERB document or we're using embedded Ruby. Okay. So you can write both HTML and embedded Ruby in these files. So a problem that we have, if I want to format this document, let's say this document gets totally out of whack and you know, everything just gets sort of bent out of shape as I'm doing my code, as I'm developing my application. Now, if I type in command shift, I obviously we don't have our formatter. So let's go over to extensions and I'm going to type in ERB formatter. And then we are going to choose this formatter here. And very quickly, what I'll do is copy this line. And then we're going to open up a terminal shell inside of VS code. And then we can paste that into the command line. Great. Once we install this gem, we can close the command line. And then the documentation says to copy this into our settings.json file. So we're going to copy this block and let's go over to our gearbox and then we can choose settings. And once you're in settings, just type settings into the search bar. You have to scroll down a bit and you'll see this link that says edit in settings.json. And that brings us to our settings.json file. Now there's something cool about this settings.json file. If you notice, you see window.zoom level is one. That's because I made the window just slightly bigger by typing command plus. If I type in command minus, Notice that as the screen gets smaller, my settings.json file updates. Now I'll type in command plus and the zoom level got bigger. And so the settings.json is basically like a global configuration 
for the text editor. So right below here, what I want to do is paste in that file association just like that. And let's save. I'm going to close out of settings here. I'm going to close this out. And now if I go back to this document, if I type in command shift I, notice how everything gets nice and neatly formatted. So it's really useful. It just really optimizes your workflow. And I strongly suggest setting this up. Now there's one last thing that I want to set up, um, especially when you're working with HTML documents is you definitely want to have IntelliSense working. And IntelliSense is that if I type in, for example, div, it will auto complete for me. Or if I want to create a class, I can use some shortcuts using Emmet. And so Emmet is sort of baked into the text editor and allows IntelliSense to just sort of work with, with these files. So right now it's not working. And what I can do to fix that is I will go over to settings.json and I'm just going to add a couple lines right in here. <clears throat> so what I'm going to type is emmet.include languages. And then we want to include Ruby. And then we also want to include ERB. And I believe this should fix everything, except we do have one mistake. Oh, we just need a comma right there. And we need to close that out there. And that looks good. Okay, so once you have this line in here and you press save, if we go over to application.html.erb, um, right above the yield, let's say I type in dot nav and then press enter. You see how it just auto completes and creates that class for me? Really nice. Another thing is like if, if I just typed in div, um, sorry, if I type in div and just press enter, it's going to auto complete and just create that div there for me. All right, so before we close this up, let's just select all and type in command shift I to make sure everything's formatted. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson on how to set up your text editor. Just to recap, let's go back into our extensions. Let's remove the search and just see all the extensions that we installed. We have the Atom One Dark theme. We have material icons, Ruby, VS Code Ruby, and then we also have ERB formatter set up. And that's basically everything that I bake in to uh, my text editor to just optimize my workflow a little bit as I'm going along. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next lesson.